Hello, today we're going to talk about the uh, colloidal silver generator. This is my latest one. This has uh, the adjustable limiter current. It'll show up on the amp meter. It's a precision amp meter. Uh, this is for the reverse polarity cycle and you can adjust that from 1 to 30 seconds. And then we have uh, the stir speed for the built-in magnetic stir. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our clips. So our alligator clips, banana clips come in here. We're going to plug those in. And we're going to plug in the power soft 18 volt AC DC adapter. You can use 12 volt also. You know, we'll talk about why the 12 volt is enough. Okay, now you see the <clears throat> you'll see the uh, light switching on and off. Right now, it's got positive going to one of the rods and negative to the other. Then it switches negative to positive. That's the fastest speed right there. So it's a set at one second. Now you can drop this down. Just turn the dial to the left. This dial, and it'll slow up, slow up. Um, we can hear the fans going, so we're going to turn the fan. This is this is your stir speed. It's got magnets in it. Um, we already have our Erlenmeyer flask. You can use any flask you want, but uh, this comes with a kit. All this stuff comes with a kit. So we'll go ahead and uh, oh, we need a we need a stir bar. So let's get a stir bar for this guy. We're going to drop our stir bar in, and we're going to insert our we're going to insert our our silver rods into the stopper. It's got two holes on it, so we're going to drop that down uh, on both of them, and then we're going to straighten out the the rods parallel so they're about this far apart. And we'll go ahead and stick that in. Make it about like that. We'll drop that in. Then we'll uh, attach our alligator clips from our lead in the back. See the banana plugs plug in there. Doesn't matter which one. I have it backwards but it doesn't matter because it's going to be reversing anyways. So we'll put that in there like that. And then there's your there's your power uh, adapter. So we'll hook up uh, one connector. We'll pull it up a, a little out of the way. These are seven inch, fourteen gauge rods. Right now, maybe upping it to twelve gauge or ten gauge, depending on what the popularity of it is. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to lift these guys up a little bit. Get it out of the way of the white magnetic stir. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn on our mag stir. So you have to turn it on about midway or a little bit more, and then it's going to start spinning fast and drop it down. So we're going to drop, we'll have it about, about that speed. Okay. If it bumps, then just, it means your, one of your rods is a little too low. So we're going to, we're going to, ink, we're going to up our rod a little bit, get it out of the way. Let me get more up here. Okay. Now we want slow stir speed at the beginning. We don't need a, a fast stir speed. We're going to increase that later on uh, because the right now, so if you look, wow, that's surprising. I must have uh, not as pure distilled water. Anyways, clean your clean your flask out as good as you can. Rinse it. Two, at least two times with distilled water, get it as clean as you can. And you see here that we've got 0 .0004 amps. That's in this registers in amps. That, equa that equals 0.4 milliamps. Make sure this I can zoom in on this a little bit. You see that? Okay, so we've got our connectors hooked to our rods, hooked up to the back, power's on. Now we've got uh, our stir speed stirring 
it, I mean, you can go really fast. Now, here's what happens if you make it too fast. It'll spin out to the side because it can't handle that speed. So bring it down. Just turn it all the way left until it slows down. Then bring it back up again. Okay. Alrighty. So now we're stirring. We're getting uh, between 0.3 and 0.4 milliamps on our start. And no matter, this is your current. Can you see the current? Yeah. Your current selector here. It's on all the way full right now, but you're still only getting 0 0.3, 0 0.4 milliamps, right? That's because of the resistance of the water. Distilled water has a lot of resistance. There's very little conductivity. So what we do for the first uh, couple hours or so, we monitor it and see how, how it goes. When it gets up to 5-0, then we want to curtail it back or depending on how much uh, milliamps you want to to put in it there's a lot of uh, variables with this and that's what makes it great because you can make a precise colloidal silver depending on exactly how you want it made no other generator does that everybody else is a static uh, set uh, current it's a set reverse polarity cycle I mean and we're talking about the good ones the, the over 200 300 dollar uh, generators so this is much better. Now, to to show you what is actually going through, what this is outputting, what's coming out of here, all you got to do is just touch these two together, and you'll see that the output is actually 23, 24 milliamps. You know, climb a little bit because it's building and it's warming up one of the chips. Um, you of course don't want to use that much, but you've got the power if you need it. So let's switch it back here, and actually we can we can show this also in the multimeter. And we're going to turn it on, and you'll see here it shows 26 milliamps. And climbing a little bit, 26, 26, 3, 26, 4 so forth like that. Uh, when it switches you're going to see if you have this in parallel you'll see it switching there's your negative 27.2 watch this light when it comes on positive 27.6 so we're switching positive and negative positive and negative if you want to go in if you want to go in series to measure what actually is the current flowing from rod to rod then what we'll do is we'll keep this like this one one of the uh, leads from the generator to one of the rods. The other lead from the generator to one of the uh, leads in the multimeter. Doesn't matter which, and just clip it to the other rod. So now you're seeing 0 0.45, 0 0.4, 0 0.45. So as you now you can decrease this, of course. Well, that's a minimum it's going to go. So it's going to start off like that. Um, when we get more PPM built in here, more ionic flow, then we're going to see, of course, higher numbers on this, both numbers like this. The constant current, this is constant current, so it doesn't matter at the beginning to turn this all the way up. You're still not going to affect how much current is going from rod to rod because of the resistance in the water. The lack, the lack of uh, ions. Okay, so now we're going to let this run at full power and uh, and slow stir speed. And I would, what I like to do is bring it down to 30, because that makes it that makes the ions start to flow a little bit better. Reduce your your stir speed and, and reduce the. Uh, uh, cycle of reverse polarity down to 30 seconds instead of one second or five seconds or ten seconds we're going to save that for later once we start getting a good iron solution in there built up and we start building up our ppms then that's when we want to curtail it so that it doesn't go over we don't get over current we don't go get over amperage so leave it on full and uh, we're going to come back in uh, about 15 minutes or so and we'll check the We'll check the uh, 
the current and see how that goes there. So just leave it like that for right now, and we'll come back in a little bit.